Evening everybody, shadows are getting long. Going out for a little quick trip around the block. Ride along. Well, here we go. Taking off and again chasing our chasing our shadow. And I I left this in here tonight to give you an idea of what it looks like when you turn into the sun. With the sun on your back like this, it's nice. You can uh you can chase your shadow and you can see through the windshield and any of that haze or I mean I cleaned the windshield too, but when you get looking in the sun, it's just really difficult to, really difficult to see, and it, it makes a crappy video. So, like I said, I, uh, I, uh, we took off and uh, turned into the wind. The wind was blowing two eight zero at nine, is what uh, Griffiths was calling it. So I like to fly into the wind, so they got a tailwind on the way home, in case we get uh, circling around and the sun catches us sudden. But uh, I turned into the sun here, and you'll see it here in just a second. Uh, doesn't uh, doesn't make the best of videos, but uh, headed out to the west, um, and uh, we're heading up the heading up the west road here. Thought I was hoping I could catch Dwight Kramer with the balloon. I haven't caught him all summer, but uh, he wasn't flying tonight. He's going to fly tomorrow morning, and I got to work. So, but it's the west road. This is White Pines. This is the new community center that the Indian Nation built there on the right hand side of the frame there. And uh, quite a quite a good sized building uh, they got uh, they got going there. I haven't went over there to tour it at all, but uh, they keep uh, they keep building stuff out here for sure. So uh, from there we uh, we hopped over the turn made a made a right turn and turned into the sun and headed up over the hill there. And as we were coming across the the other valley, this this right here on the right is the Madison County landfill. You can see that silo just about to go out of the frame right there that's where they uh, they pump the leachate out of this uh, landfill and then uh, they uh, get it to the sewer treatment plant for treatment so but but we were right up here and uh, the landfills on the right and right under the left wing is the uh, is the oxbow quarry drew hundreds of tons of stone out of there back in the day when I was driving dump truck and we're gonna We'll give you a look at this uh, quarry here in just a second. We gotta turn into the sun, and then we'll get get to where we can get you some decent uh, video. But you can see the quarry coming right into view here, and uh, they've been they've been mining stone out of there for for years and years and years. You figure I worked driving truck in 1972, uh, and that was a big hole back then. And they just keep they just keep blasting and crushing it and and uh here we go and, and you can see it's a it's a quite a good size uh quite a good size hole in the ground they got two separate faces where they've shot the bank off and you got the water laying in the bottom there uh, you got all manner of uh of crushers and stockpiles and of course you got the blacktop plant up there and uh right here in the right here in the foreground is uh is the scale house and whatever what have you I didn't realize it, but it was Timmy Nye in one of them trucks down there. He uh, he sent me a text message. He said, hey, is that you flying over the quarry? And, uh, of course, of course it was. But you're getting a good good look at it. They got all manner of machinery down there. I mean, they were closed up this time of night. It was God, it had to be 6.30 or so we were up there. But uh, multitude of crushers. And, of course, they got the the rock trucks and what have you. And you can see they've got rows of uh, man size and, and bigger riprap right there in a pile in front of the strut, uh, you know, to use for barricades and what have you. This gives you a look at it. We're looking toward a night of lake now, and this, obviously the sun's ahead of us there, but uh, that's that's quite a quite a big hole in the ground they got, uh, they got there. And, of course, the Oxbow Road comes up, comes up out of Canastota, and uh, we're just approaching that, and then you, you make a left off the Oxbow Road coming up the hill, and you turn into the quarry. Um, this is the way you would be going if you were going back down into Canastota. You'd come out of the quarry to the left, the way we're traveling, and you'd turn right on the Oxbow Road, and it'd take you down to Route 5. Um, I couldn't resist uh, going up on the hill up here just a little ways, uh, a couple of them big windmills, and they were actually going around tonight. Got uh, got a look at it uh, with the camera on this side, and then I'll I'll swing around and we'll get a look at it uh, 
with the camera on the other side. Uh, but uh, these two windmills, what's kind of neat is, and it's it's hard to see because we're not right over it, but right out here in front of the airplane, as we as we swing around, this road right here goes right down into Peterborough. And uh, Peterborough was, uh, was part of the uh, old... Uh, uh, underground railroad back in the days of the slavery so but uh, this is the, this little field here is Smithfield and you can when we get up close to you can see it's a little runway there and as we get up on it you'll see I'll get you a second look at this too uh, they got a Cessna airplane park there this is a short field here um, and they got uh, they got it cut out of the trees but the good part is they got clear approach on the uh, west end so you can come down here turn around and go to the west to take off and you don't have any obstacles to clear at all and again uh, we circled around this the other camera on the other wing uh, gives you a good look at those uh, those windmills they were going around tonight we were up here a couple nights ago and they weren't going around but uh, you can see uh, you can see the village out there out there in front of us there uh, that would be uh, that would be Peterborough it's what's neat. So we're up on the hill here, and they got some pretty nice little ponds up here. Uh, one right here, and then there's one off the end of the runway. This is uh, the other camera, giving you a look at how long the shadows are getting. And obviously, this is a this is a nice little runway right here. Uh, it's Mark Smithfield on the uh, on the uh, New York sectional. They got a nice little pond next to it there, as you can see uh, from the windsock. We were downwind here, so we were making some. Pretty good forward speed across the ground here. We came back, and I, I show you the casino all the time, but you'll notice here in the center of this digging, they've got some ditching done, and you can see they've got uh, some box culverts and what have you in there to collect the water. I'm sure that's to collect the water off of uh, that area. But uh, then it goes from construction site to the greenhouse, and uh, the greenhouses, or not the greenhouse, the uh, golf course. And uh, I didn't uh, didn't see a lot of people out playing. It was getting late, but uh, they do have some really nice golf courses over there. And we're going to give you just a just a little touch of fast forward from here um, out across the exit 33 of the throughway, and uh, you've got the uh, the save on and what have you here on a busy corner. We'll give you a fast forward right down to the end of the runway. Hold on. And here we are, of course, uh, landing over the trees again. Wind was blowing out of the west just a little bit. It had died right down this time of the day. So I said, you know, we'll just take her in over the trees there, making sure we didn't have any deer. And then uh, when I realized it was, uh, it was safe to land, we just let the wheels touch. Hope you enjoyed the ride up to Smithfield.